I'll soon be polite and, and introduce myself. Hi. I'm Ruben. Okay, so you can see the Altair Copilot came back with Hello Ruben, I'm Altair Copilot. I can help you explore data, including movies, actors, directors, etc. Okay, so now let's ask what kinds of data can I ask questions about? And let's see. So off it goes, sending this information to our LLM. Here you can see that we're getting progress information from the server. And here's the result. You can say, it says uh, you can ask questions about very specific aspects of movies, actors, directors. Um, you can see it's showing sort of a bolded points of the various types of things we can ask questions about, along with various attributes for these. Uh, it also uh, gives us a way to formulate our questions. So it sort of helps us form a question. Uh, so it says, uh, can you show me more details about a specific movie? And here there's a drop down that allows us to choose which movie we want. And then based on that, when we mouse over here, we can see a preview of the actual question that will go off should we click on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click. And here we say, can you show me details about a specific movie? In this case, 2001, uh, A Space Odyssey. Uh, again, this information is sent off to the server along with some contextual information. The server then returns a query that we will then run on the client um, against the database in order to get the data. But getting the data is just one part of it. We need to be able to actually render that data. So the second thing that the server gives us is hints about how we should render the results. And when we put it all together, we get something like this. So we get sort of a rich text view of uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, which is fantastic. Okay, so now let's do this. Show me or list me, me the actors uh, who acted or performed in this movie. Notice I wrote this movie and not what specific movie I meant. So it needs to understand context to know what I mean by this. Um, also show some details about each movie about each actor. There we go. Okay, so again, this is really important. The fact that we can uh, ask questions that imply uh, that are implied based on context, right? So in this case, we said this movie implying 2001 Space Odyssey. And let's see if, this, if the LLM understood it. It did. In fact, if we look at the query, we can see that it, it filtered down to 2001 Space Odyssey. Okay, so these are the actors and okay, we get a nice table again because the server gave us a hint of, hey, you should probably render this stuff using a table. Um, so we can, for example, sort and do various things that you would normally do with a table. Furthermore, and this is kind of cool, for any of these rows, so for example, this row represents Douglas Rain, right? Well, here we have this button, which when we click on it, would drill into Douglas Rain. In other words, it would give us further detail about the actor that's represented by that row. And we can do this for, for any of these rows, all right? So we can further dig into any of these. But let's not do that now. Instead, let's have a look at something else. So for each actor, we see that we know the name, the nationality, place of birth, date of birth, and gender. And that's pretty much it. But suppose we wanted to know the average age of all these actors. Well, age is not a data point here, right? We don't know the age. But as humans, we understand that we can extrapolate age by using the date of birth attribute, right? But does the LLM understand this? Well, let's have a look. Uh, please compute the average age for these actors. The Again, I'm using these actors, assuming that the LLM will understand based on context. And let's have a look. So off it goes into computation land. Uh, it retrieves uh, the historic information, the contextual information, sends it off to LLM, comes back. And here we see that the, um, the average age of actors who performed in 2001 Space Odyssey is about 93 uh, years old, which is true because if you look here, most actors were born in the early sort of earlier side of the 1900s. We can have a look at the query and you can see that it literally uh, does the, it takes the average, but the way it computes age is it takes the current year and subtracts it from the date of birth year, right? So it does the, sort of the delta of the two. Cool. 
what else can we do? Well, let's ask another question. Um, please chart uh, movies that are in the genre comedy or comedy genre, uh -huh. comedy genre, and their budgets. Okay, so here I'm expecting to only see comedies, right? Movies that are comedies and their budgets. And because I said chart, I'm assuming that it should show some sort of a visual, sort of graphic y kind of a thing, right? Oh, nice. It understood. And not only did it understand, but it actually gave, a, gave us a hint that it should be a chart and more specifically a bar chart. And here it is. Kind of cool. And uh, furthermore, what I can do is when I mouse over, let's say Toy Story 2, I can actually click on this bar and that will trigger another question saying, tell me more about Toy Story 2. So what we've done here is sort of drilled into Toy Story 2 to get further detail about this movie, right? Um, and so again, sending off to LM, it comes back and here we go, some details about Toy Story 2. Now, if we want to change, suppose we want to see this stuff, not this information, not as a bar chart, but as a pie chart, well, how, what, how could we do that? Well, we can actually come up here and change our question. So let's change it and say, please show this as a pie chart. Here we go. So what I've done here is I've changed that question. What that's done is it's split off another sort of path within my conversation with the co-pilot. And uh, now from here on on, it's, it's attempting to answer that uh, question that I just gave. And here it is, the same exact information rendered as a pie chart. And again, I can click on any of these slices like the Incredibles and it will say, now give me all the details about Incredibles, right? And now it's obviously going off and trying to get data about the Incredibles. What's cool is that the previous question that I had here didn't go away. It's still here. I can go back to it. So if I click back, notice that we have this bar chart. If I go forward, now we go back to the pie chart version, right? In other words, at any level, if we split off and branch off another sort of thread of conversation, the previous thread doesn't go away. It's maintained in history and we can always go back to it. And we can keep creating edits and splitting off more and more threads and asking various questions. Uh, so far, you've seen uh, various visualizations like a table, bar chart, pie chart, uh, you've seen rich text, you've seen um, a component that allows you to sort of further refine the questions that you're asking to the LLM, right? By using these sort of drop downs and things like that. And uh, moving forward, we'll keep adding more and more visualizations and components that make it easier and more helpful to play with, work with, and perhaps one day, who knows, maybe even edit your data.